dear learner today we will discuss on the very important topic of different forms of journalistic writing the learning outcome of the module is to introduce to you about writing process especially in the context of journalistic writing and the steps involved it further elaborates upon the idea of what makes news or which stories are news worthy it provides a comprehensive overview of the different forms of journalistic writings and how each is different from the other one let us discuss common principles or values that underlie all forms of news writing let's start with the introduction to news writing all forms of writing in the news media have certain basic principles that need to be relied upon these principles would be concerning a good idea that the individual believes would resonate well with the readers or would grasp the instant attention of the reader the idea can be an entirely new perspective or reportage on an ongoing story or issue with a new angle or development it could be looking at the ongoing issue from a first person account for example the story could be about the difficulties faced by an asthma patient during the peak of air pollution in delhi the next important consideration which is basic to writing is having a nuanced understanding of the language and a sense of style the tone of the words and phrases chosen by the author also provides insights about the values ideology and cultural values good writing is essential for a media professional as it is required in all vocations associated with the field whether it is print journalism broadcast journalism advertising public relation or online media however it is of utmost importance to understand how news media writing differs from different other forms of writing such as fiction or poetry writing for news media has a specific purpose of creating awareness or information the public of the reader about an important political social or economical issues the facts of the story should be presented in such a manner that it captures or retains the attention of the reader describes the entire event or issue in a comprehensive and a simple language and analyzes them in such a manner that it expands already existing knowledge of the reader the main difference between journalistic writing and other forms is that other forms of writing serve a specific organizational goal of strategic interest of the writer or the sponsoring authority rather than public interest news stories are written for a reader in a hurry who just have enough time to scan the story news stories are increasingly becoming shorter and crisper with the declining attention spans especially since the advent of online media however this may not be true for specialized news columns such as editorials news analysis features op-ed narrative articles news stories are often written in an inverted pyramid style of writing with 5 w's and 1 h at the top of the news story for the quick reading 
and an understanding of the event or issue or new development in one go. There may be different writing styles and formats for different products, but the process of writing may be similar, especially for beginners. As one gains more experience as a writer, each individual may develop their process, style of writing and the time taken to write a piece may considerably reduce as well. Many a time, writers have a great idea or a story to pursue that may interest a reader instantly but the problem begins with how to start the story and execute the idea with the final written piece that the editor will publish. Let us discuss writing process. Experts suggest that the author needs to break the process of writing into multiple stages to deliver a great final piece. This is especially important at the beginner's level when the individual is learning the craft of writing in a set format, word limit and style. Dividing the process into stages and creating an outline of the idea brings clarity into the mind of the writer and also makes the idea manageable. Writing can be summed up into a four stages process. These stages are first generation of idea, conception, second gathering information related to the idea or topic, maybe collection, third planning, outlining and creating subheading or sub themes related to the idea, construction. And the fourth and important point is related with the proof reading, editing and polishing for coherence and comprehensibility, mean correction. Let us discuss on generation of the idea. One can think of many topics to do a story for news media writing, but the first step would be to decide upon a single idea that one would like to pursue in detail and later write an elaborate article on it. After narrowing down on the single topic, one needs to ask the following questions to themselves before starting gathering the quesite information on it. First, why is this topic relevant at present? Second, who would be interested in reading about the topic? And what would be my sources for writing a reliable story on the topic? And fourth, how my sources will provide varied perspectives to the story? Next and fifth one, what would the treatment of the story? Sixth, why is this topic important in the present scenario? And seventh and last point is, if the topic is written about earlier, what fresh perspectives my story can offer? There should be a strong reason why the individual would want to pursue the topic itself. The second step would be to understand why a publication would like to publish the article in the present circumstances. Thus, an understanding of how editors pick up stories for the publication would provide help in choosing one's topic. Knowledge of the news values would further help the writer to select his or her topic of interest that is likely to be published. The next important step after selecting the topic would be to select the angle on which he or she wants to take up in the story. Reader's interest and policies of the organization should also be considered 
at this stage to avoid any last minute issues. For an example, a sports journalist would want to write an article on the issue of problems faced by women athletes in India. Then they could choose multiple perspectives to highlight the same issue. These perspectives could be discrimination faced by the women sport persons at the institutional level, how many sports persons cope up with rigorous sports routine in post-marriage scenario or maybe in post-pregnancy scenario. A comparative analysis of sports funding available for the male sport persons vis-a-vis -vis women players. Sports facilities available for the women sports persons in depth interview about the journey of successful women sports person and the problems that she encountered during her career and how she overcome them such as a Mary Com, Saina Nehwal and P.V. Sandhu.